constructive project. It is highly energy intensive, highly water intensive, and it is destroying the boreal forests. The people of Fort Chippewan are the ones that are paying the ultimate price. My family. My family has lost their way of life because of the pollution in the Athabasca River, the destruction of the biodiversity. My family has, is experiencing cultural genocide at the hands of government and corporate profiteers. We are increasing our emissions, and Canada is allowing this by putting forward things like carbon trading as a way to mitigate climate change. You cannot mitigate cultural loss through carbon trading. You cannot mitigate cancers and the destruction of our cultural way of life through carbon trading. The tar sands are the leading contributor to climate change in Canada, but over 60% of this oil is being imported by the U.S. I'm here speaking on behalf of Canadian and U.S. youth who are here in solidarity with Indigenous communities to condemn the tar sands development. United, we are demanding that our countries invest in a clean energy future and phase out fossil fuel production that's killing our people and planet. Harper and Obama have both stated that they want to see the world achieve a strong climate deal. If this is true, then Canada and the U.S. have to stop being part of the problem. There is no tar sands in a strong climate deal. Our people are already done!